This has been a nightmare. Uh, all of the uh, videos on YouTube uh, are real good at tearing them apart. They get them tore down in short order. But the assembly is where it's at. Um, well, I took this part out and we'll come up to it and come out of it. But anyway, um, you have a number of plastic connectors. Um, these you can use a screw uh, to get into them, pull them out. they just plastic and they fit over a, a little button uh, about like that on each of the elements that are in it and allows it to slide back and forth. Well, in the poor process of taking it apart to get to this piece right here, um, the one that I took out was broken right up here where they bent it and um, it failed. So anyway, I had to go all the way down in it to get to that part. And in the process of doing it, three of these little items fell out. And without them, uh, it don't work. And if you use, if you, if you do lose them, uh, it's, it's a real pain in the dickens to get them figured out where they go. Well, finally, after two days of fiddling with this piece right here, which is the most complicated of all of them, it comes up that they fit into this bottom set of grooves and they, let's see, I get my bearings here. It seems like you can't have enough tools either. Uh, okay, there's a groove. It's got a slot right here. It runs through it. Um, and you can see one of them right up in there. And it runs here. And this is the other end of it. And it runs in this bottom track. Top track is uh, this piece. Second element uh, is this piece. And that is in a, a, a set. Then we drop down to this one, which holds the bottom iris, which is this piece that is broke. I've been using a broke one instead of the new one to avoid messing that one up until I figured it out. Anyway, this one, as you can see, moves as you're um, rotating. And this metal one that I couldn't figure out what in the world it went to, uh, it connects, whoops, it connects to this piece right here like that. And, uh, I, in counting all the different components that came together, I was totally baffled as to what they went to, what they did, and so on. Then this piece here, it goes in right here and fits through this hole. As soon as I get it into place. It lines up with these little brass cone-shaped guides that fit down in there. And then you have three little screws that uh, have a spring around them. And they thread down in there. So they're in threes. These are in threes. The plastic ones here, there's nine of them. Three sets of three around the barrel. And... <sighs> I went on the web looking for this, um, and uh, like I said, uh, all the YouTubes that I could find, uh, <clears throat> they didn't address the putting it back together, and I was trying to videotape it and uh, run my laptop here and view the others as I took it apart. So once I get this one all assembled 
I will come back to it and then we will go to the next step. Um, tearing it apart, like I say, is one thing. Putting it back together is a whole different game. Okay. A little more addition to this. Um, fought and fought trying to figure out how all of this comes together. And these little brass uh, fittings here go in first and, well, let me back up. The one that gave me the real fit was um, this little metal guy right here. Um, there are three of them. They fell out. I think I mentioned that. They go in with the slide part of the, well, they're a slide, but uh, they're all about half an inch, well, three-eighths of an inch long, and they have this on one end. This end faces the front of the lambs and it slides in a track right here. They're quite difficult to get in because by the time you get one in, rotate, put the next one in, it falls, this, this one will fall out, and then the other one. So I finally, I got them all in, and then once they're in, and maybe some tape on them would help hold them in place, then this piece has to go in, and it um, has these three slides that go up and down this way as it rotates. And this couples to a floating optic that's in the uh, next sec the front section of the lens. So I back down to go to these so that you can understand the Optic here is two parts that are connected together. The front optic is controlled by these pins right, let's see, these pins right here. The bottom one is controlled by these right here. And these are the little black uh, tubes that uh, you see. And they plug in and then screws go down in those to lock them in place. So when you're done, you have Three, uh, three of these, three of these, three of these for nine of these black pins. Then you have this one right here, which it will actually couple to this piece right here. Now, I might suggest also on this one, this front optic on this is exposed to the surface. So you have to be really careful that you don't set it on something like this and scratch it. You also want to make sure that um, since this optic down here is exposed also, that um, you don't just let this drop uh, when you're disassembling or when you're reassembling. And what I did was, when I put it together a while ago, I put some lens cleaning tissue down in the bottom before I set this in so that it doesn't drop directly on the glass um, between them. Also, something else that's really good to have is some fine cloth gloves like they use for handling film with. Uh, saves you a multitude of evils. Also, check your optics. Make sure you have good lens cleaning equipment because I don't care. I was really careful. I still found I got fingerprints on the glass just working with it uh, when I first tore it down. So that's good to have. The other thing I found was good to have was uh, one of these headlights uh, because you just need to have the light right where it's at. So... Anyway, with that, I'm going to assemble this, and then uh, we will we'll go from that step because I'm kind of feeling my way through as I re reassemble this thing. Okay, we worked out the next big kink in this thing. After we've got all of this figured out, as we've covered a while ago, now the next question was, how does this align and time with this? Again, the teardown pictures don't 
show you to pay attention to this and if it's not right it ain't right okay you've got this front optic here that has to thread in at the right timing it has to line with the square box on this side uh, this one is square and the travel needs to be within that one on the inverse side you have the diagonal track and this track has two little holes right here that when they were talking about taking it apart that you were to take these down but they did not give you they kind of slid over the ones I saw anyway this has a little index that fits in the index mark right here um, let's see how can I best illustrate it um, there is an index there that index matches the index mark on this piece right here so it fits into this one and there are two screws that screw into that now when that is done this side can rotate and that arm can move up and down with it without problem at the same time that this one was is within its travel for another piece that's coming on so if you get that part solved then we can go to the next step uh, and you may have to in getting this lined out you may have to try several different positions before this one comes up in this window at the same time that these pins remain over here just gotta take your time get it done we'll get back to you our next step is to bring this ring and it's the one with the gold band on it and the gold band goes down to the bottom of the lens and in doing this step we come down over our cables and we have to line up little notches there are three I believe three of them um, one two three it seems like everything in this is in threes you need to find the leading groove and that's kind of a slow process and if you have it right which I don't this red mark here that is on the, the lens barrel has to line up with a red mark on this one so we'll back off and we'll come over here a little bit closer back to you okay finally got this thing turned on the way it was supposed to be fortunately I had taken a felt pen and I had made an index mark on the gold band here to match up with this one which I'm really glad I did it saved me who knows how many times putting it on taking it off and it starts over here and then cams over so you're not going to just put it on where it lines up it's going to have to start back here and then it'll go in now uh, from that point I need to bring this up and I need to assemble this index pin here because it has to be in place for the next part to come in so we'll pick up on that here shortly okay I've got the arm here connected this will fit to this piece right here and it's going to come down and align with um, these fingers which will control this front lens that shifts um, 
and then this will also connect with the um, fingers tabs that are on the inside of this so that as it rotates out here it'll rotate this so we're going to put that together oh and one thing i just realized i had forgotten so don't forget it when you're working with it there are nine little screws and they need to go in between these um, black plastic spacing pins to hold them in place so don't forget that like i almost did Okay, we have progressed a little bit since our last view of this. We had the forks that came out of this piece here that came down over uh, that one lens that floats in the end. Remember in the black and the um, aluminum colored um, ring that was on the inner uh, section. It had a finger that came up. Well, this has a fork that goes over it. And we had to align that so that it would rotate. And then we had to get this rotated around to where these little tines fit back over the uh, gold contacts on the ring on this. And then we had little brass screws that went in to these grooves to hold it in place. And this first ring we put on actually is allowed to expand to come and meet this. So now we are at this point where we can, we can zoom our lens. So we are gaining on it. So we will come back on this in a bit. Um, I did, I don't know for sure, but it's, it would seem to me, um, I did take a Q-tip, a little isopropyl alcohol, and I cleaned these gold uh, slide contacts inside here. You'll see. And then you got the little fork thing here that you had to put back. Uh, and that the teardown videos that are out there told you to pull out. Um, I cleaned those too so we'd have good contact and not get any uh, error codes for failure to communicate. So, now we're going to see if we can go to the next step. Thank you. Okay, as we are continuing on here, um, we did go ahead and put those screws on uh, it, where we were discussing last, and then we came to this plastic ring. And I went and looked at several of the different videos out there, and they're the pictures are poor they don't show the detail so consequently I had to figure this out piece by piece the cables come up through this plastic ring and you got to find the right rotation of it so that they all come up where they're supposed to I think I have that now uh, this one here comes up there is no plastic across that one it comes out on the outside edge and so that one is open that was kind of my clue this one here um, had a notch just right for it so then these I had to fish up out of the um, out from underneath that was fun but I do believe I have all of those ready. So now I got to put in the six screws here. And then I would say that we are pretty close to finishing this project. We'll get back to you. Well, <clears throat> there it is. Um, I got started after I had completed the barrel part. And the rest of it just kind of went on quickly. And... Uh, the only thing I have left to put on is this piece that drops in here. But I wanted to discuss a few things with you, and I also wanted to address the issue of this. In the videos that um, uh, are out there on dismantling it, uh, they had made comment that these little tabs break off easy and to be really careful, but they're breaking them. And so, anyway, uh, this fits uh, right into the base here to complete the installation on the lens. Well, I broke one of the tabs. I tried not to, but I did. I just 
in trying to get it loose uh, in an awkward position, uh, it um, happens. So I use some um, uh, all-purpose PVC uh, cement and uh, I just took a tiny little bit on a screwdriver and put it underneath the broken tab and I did that yesterday <clears throat> and let it sit overnight so that's all that needs to go in there now there's a number of things that I have learned from this and I'll, I'll go through them uh, as we go here um, one thing is tools I I used um, <laughs> Harbor Freight uh, uh, tool kit and uh, their smallest Phillips worked really well for the whole thing and these were like three or four dollars for the kit uh, worked well for what I was doing um, I did have some that were really fine and for those I used <laughs> dollar store uh, uh, jeweler screwdrivers they did everything else I needed to do uh, I used these and I also used some dental picks uh, to uh, align things and the guy the, one of the things that they were discussing in pulling those uh, little plastic um, guides out of that inner barrel uh, they were talking about prying them out with uh, little screwdrivers and so on but one guy suggested you just take a screw and just thread it down a little bit like that and you can pull the plastic guides out um, and that's on that inner barrel where everything seems to be the other thing I'm going to reiterate on this is when you go to take this down and it's kind of a touchy thing to do but you need to reference mark every part before you pull it apart uh, the felt pens don't work too well because uh, most of the stuff you're working with is black uh, I don't know maybe a dab of um, red fingernail polish uh, might work on that I didn't have any so I didn't try it um, I know parts houses use a white or yellow um, marker pen that is kind of an like an enamel paint that they label with but reference points are so important um, in the uh, inner barrel uh, especially but even between this piece here uh, this ring here this final ring and then there's a plastic ring that uh, sits just here and it has to be just right and it takes a while to figure out uh, where the ribbons come up so uh, reference points also if you've got a uh, another lens for your camera uh, go ahead and if you can get up and shoot close and this one here is macro to about half an inch but if you can take detailed pictures of the steps that you're in so you can see how things are doing and I'm going to put a couple in that I've shot uh, hopefully into this video when it's done um, two of the video uh, deals they pull this thing loose uh, this plate and they roll it out and they pry to push these pins from the inside to get it to release but one gentleman he just took a screwdriver and he just went in here like this and popped it out from the outside edge uh, I didn't try that. I hadn't noticed it when I was looking through all the videos. So, uh, when you go to tear it down, I hope you look at the, the how together before you use there to take it apart. Um, but anyway, the other thing, uh, cloth gloves, a reiterate on that. Uh, and down in the bottom down here below the inner barrel, uh, you have this optic here you have a floating optic in the middle and then you have two that are floating up above so you've got one two three four five different lens groups in this and these down here in the bottom you've got to be careful because when you undo it it'll drop one lens right against the other one 
so I kept lens tissue uh, between those so that if I lost grip it doesn't um, come together also uh, you want to make sure that you have cotton swabs um, because they will get in and clean out the area lightly for you uh, if you've got to clean it from the side uh, also works good around the edges of the lens um, make sure you got cleaning solution plenty of lens tissue um, a blower and a lens brush uh, all these things definitely help in doing it and doing it right and I may have not done it right but I sure learned a lot in doing it uh, so with that uh, I hope to put all this together so that it benefits you the uh, best possible way and uh, I hope this works for you but I will say this also if you can afford to send it out and get it done and you value the lens do that uh, there's a lot at risk here in doing this uh, things can be lost things can be broke but if uh, it's a situation of necessity to do it then do it and best wishes in doing it